so dead animal shells. I'm assuming there's a lot of that here as well. Um, but the stuff I have looked at that came up on a rock was really clay rich. Is, and that's usually the source of the sediment. We had another question about that. Yeah, it's the, the primary source of sediment out here is dead animal shells. Very little makes it out here from land. What is? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I won't repeat. <laughs> There's a little ophiroid maybe on that rock? Brittle star. It's an enemy. Our viewers is asking if some of you would share the most bizarre or memorable thing you have seen on a dive. Bizarre. Bizarre. Hmm. I brought this up before, and it's not going to really seem that bizarre, but somewhere, and there's a steep wall, and then it, I think it was sheet flow lava and kind of like that layering that we were talking about bathtub rings kind of and there was a cutout like almost like an alcove like you would put a statue in and it had a giant sponge in there but it was recessed enough i was really curious about how it could possibly get it be getting all that it needed hmm. um so that's bizarre in, in the context of its choice of living but not really the strangest thing to come across. And it's very strange for a filter feeder to want to live there. Yeah. And some unexploded ordinances. That's always fun. <laughs> <laughs> very polar opposites, those. Yeah, those two things. <laughs> I think some of the creatures we see down here are pretty bizarre. Even that acorn worm that we just saw right now, you know, <laughs> yes. how his body was transparent. It's creepy I mean, and cool. Can't imagine a human looking like that. <laughs> Seem to be very tenuously uh, stuck together, each of those parts. <laughs> Oh, oh, this guy has missing it's limbs. Some arms back. Oh. Mm -hmm. Poor little buddy. Wonder if a crab or something. Wonder what got him. <laughs> Seen better days, this guy.
Not a lot has chosen to live here. Oh, what Ooh. happened there? Uh, cycle that. that. It's always been one one ohm, right, for the course yeah. of the dive. Yeah. That's what happens when it's off. So I just turned it off. Okay. Turned it back on. Turn it back on. Maybe that's the end of them. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Two Any, nine anything nine. On, on your end, Dave, that is abnormal? No, I don't think so. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, the camera's, uh, camera video is gone. Maybe give it a shot in a little bit. Is it is it off now there, Jake? Uh, we could either do yeah. da dash or down up on the big screen. Let's do dash. dash. Okay. You want to try cycling one more time there, Jake? Yeah. It's curious. Nothing. Nothing, huh? Oh. Oh, oh. oh that's, oh, that's that. dash. That's dash. <laughs> Well, we're back to the standard age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to the 90s now. We never used to have Dash. That's, that was a couple of years back. Do you want to log that as an yeah. event there, Jake? Yeah. Let's do this. It was uh, 0758.50 UTC. 07. Yep. Yeah, and it was two nine one, I think nine meters or so. Two one nine one five, one of the two. Can you say that again? What was that? I think it was two nine one five meters depth. Two nine one five meters. Dave, do you know if there's any way to get dash cam also in front of Jake there? Um, yeah. I'll have to work on that. Oh, that's her. Oops, that's my, that's my. That's Hercules. Yep. There. These deep dives haven't been very helpful for our cameras. No. Nope. Seem, uh... Or one of our beacons. One of our beacons. <laughs> Actually, that one seemed not depth dependent. No, I don't think that one's depth dependent at all. Do, have we opened that up yet or no? No. I mean, it's a short turnover. We didn't open that up at all. Nice. Thanks, nice. Dave. Thanks, Dave. Oop, my bad. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I had to cudgel my brain a little bit to remember how to do that. <laughs> it all came back. I just had the Thanks, strangest um, inverse optical illusion, you know, when you see things bump out instead of... Uh-huh. Yeah, I was looking at a porch, and for some reason the way that that was rolling, it was like completely opposite. Oh, so everything looked like it was being recessed then? Uh, yeah. All the bumpy outs were recessed. Or like in. it was like tumbling in a weird way because of the shadows. Oh. I keep saying porch. It's the bubble, but it has porch on it. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Dave, do you know how to hook up so that I'm capturing um, the dash cam now on capture? Yeah. Well, let's see. I'm going to get out a bit ahead here so that... Roger. Won't be able to see any nice features in Argus. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of cool. It looks like a filter. 
You mean the 90s, yeah. 90s filter? We'll just yeah, tell like them. We got a 90s right. filter on today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you, okay, yeah, all right, just turn the filter off. Can we get some backstreet boys? Sharpen those. Yeah. <laughs> get some backstreet boys playing in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. Maybe Jess will sing it to us. I definitely had many posters of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What was the girl band that was popular back then, too? Uh, Could be a new Spice Girls. Spice Girls. There it is. New addition to the Nautilus Jake's soundtrack. Jake's kind of dressed like a Backstreet Boy right now. Oh, yeah. Laundry, laundry day. I just knew what was going on today. Yeah, you know? you, you want to frost some tips on your hair there, too? Yeah. <laughs> I guess yeah. that was more in sync style for back then. Frost, frost, the frost some tip. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big, I was a big fan, too. <laughs> But did you have posters of them in your room? No. <laughs> um, oh, Jake might have had them. Maybe. <laughs> Jake might have had posters. <laughs> All right, now we see where the where the Backstreet Boy attire comes from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's actually in his bunk now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the roof. Yeah, but, on the but I'm partial to Brittany, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, that's clear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're in, we're in the Brittany shirt. Yeah. After, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ready with your mind scrolling over yeah. there. Thanks. I lo I do love the idea of like the bad boy of the Backstreet Boys. You're like, <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, what's the threshold there? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty little bar. I wear a lot of rings. Arms <laughs> crossed. <laughs> oh, yep. <laughs> Back to bizarre things. One of our viewers says that Hercules found a laptop one time. Ah, a laptop. Oh, wow. Log in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, recover that data. Yeah. <laughs> it's trying to update. Oh, Ooh. another one of those weird little snail <laughs> oh, yeah, the, friends. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, doing the, the acrobatic snail. acrobatic snails. Uh, acrobatic snails. They're so cute. They're gonna push it on this guy, having a fit. I like the. <laughs> The chaotic <laughs> solution to I want to be somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. I can't, I can't oh, nope, nope, nope. I want to be somewhere else. All right. <laughs> Just that's, a, that's a great adaptation right there. Yeah. Like they could break something. their shells, though. Can't really go up, can you? No. It's like, no. I would like to be deeper. <laughs> it's the only option. It's only down from here. Yeah. It's all downhill. Oh. I wonder if they have a very pessimistic or optimistic view on life then. Mm. I'm going with optimistic. I mean, they're like blind and they're just like got a <laughs> fragile shell. <laughs> That's a very good point. <laughs> 15 meters left in this move. Yeah. Probably 30 for Argus, and I'll call in another one. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Well, the ground fault went away. Look on the bright side. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, you want me to sit over there? You know. No, the camera's just off right now. Sorry, Dave. Oh, oh, I sorry. Um, we can try it if you want, but I'm I'm doubtful. The Which camera one? again? Sure. Why not? Yeah. Got anything over there, Dave? No. Raj? Nothing. Yeah, one ohm ground fault. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That is just seawater. It's ocean. That is ocean ground fault.
Yeah, I can ask. Dave, is there any way to turn the monitor like down a little bit? No, not really. Not really. You're dealing with you know what the camera is doing right now. Won't make it any better. Unfortunately. Adam, can you take a rock question? Yeah, for sure. Uh, somebody is asking, is this basalt lava field from massive massive volcanic activity, but underwater version? Yeah, exactly. These are these seamounts were erupted from the seafloor, built up two kilometers thick of uh, lava, and uh, you know, actually, in the grand scheme of things not so massive. I mean, the islands of Hawaii were built in the same way, but just much, much more magma and lava. And there's a new uh, Hawaiian island, or future Hawaiian island forming off the south coast of the big island of Hawaii. It's a little volcano called Luihi that will grow and grow and grow till one day it peaks its head above the sea surface. And uh, and I build a house on it, <laughs> a tiny house. So Luihi, it seems like it's close enough to the big island that as it builds and might breach, that it could become connected rather than its own separate island. It would, it would be a small island, but there's only a short amount of time geologically where it would possibly connect. Uh, yeah, that is that is correct. You know, although when I was... Uh, first kind of getting into volcanoes, I was always really interested in why the islands are separated, you know, because you have this consistent yeah. plume of, of uh, mantle beneath the island. So why isn't it just one long ridge? But, uh, right. but the islands themselves, once they get big enough, they're kind of like a magnet for magma. They kind of force it towards the island. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, that's what ultimately how they end up separated. But Loihi is really quite close to Kilauea. So it, by the time Loihi joins up with Kilauea, what I think you're probably going to see is the uh, volcanoes Kohala and Hualalai will be like two little islands off the north and northwest coast of, of the big island. So it'll kind of grow on one side and separate on the other side. There's definitely a zone on every seamount, the Militaris zone, where that's kind of the only thing we see for a while. Yeah. yeah. And I can't really tell if once we get shallower, if it's the same uh, density, but it just there's a bunch of other corals, or if it actually does reduce in density. Right. Yeah. I guess I've been kind of thinking it it reduces in density, but it I think you're right. It definitely could be that it stays about the same. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing earlier, but just was rethinking it now. I wonder. Here's a question with good timing. Have you ever found any cool fossils? Yeah, so we... we uh, Definitely have found some old sponges on the surface here that could be classified as, as fossils. They have manganese depositing on them, and uh, that manganese grows at extremely, or precipitates at extremely slow rates. So uh, there's some potential you could look at that and start to understand how old that dead uh, sponge is, if that 
if what we see is manganese and we can actually measure its thickness. We a found little, a little something there. Um, manganese encrusted beaked whale skull bone last expedition. Wow. Yeah, that was really cool. I, had, yep. I, didn't, I didn't know that that the rostrum, I think is what it was called, that that doesn't degrade something about that bone doesn't degrade like the other bones yeah it looking at it i would never have guessed what it was it doesn't it look like, like a skull bone made yeah. of chitin rather than calcium carbonate or something like that i don't know it's similar to what the ear bones are made of i think because those are also the ones that get preserved so chocolate Stick around the longest i wonder if there's so what chocolate Chocolate? chocolate? I heard the earbuds. <laughs> chocolate. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll go chocolate. Deep sea chocolate. Ooh, Whoa. That guy. Big fat. <laughs> Pretty good. I size. wonder if the rostrum still has the Osidax worms or oh, not. A little goodness. cookie star, too. Maybe he was going for the star. He's coming for us. He looks <laughs> curious. Hey, buddy. Turn. turn. Yeah, danger, Will Robinson. I'm going to try and identify that beyond Cordata. Yeah. Can we look at that little Corda. tiny sea star to the left, Jeff? It's a white one. It's hard to see. Yeah. He's so cute. Kind of looks like one that we collected. They're a little, um, like, plump. I'm going to call it a belly because I know that it's not, but that's what I want it to be. Um, <laughs> it does not really make it up to the surface like that. What? Is it, like, it's, compress? Yeah, it's flatter. Hmm. I know. Thank you. Does it look like this? Well, I couldn't tell. Similar. No, the arms are gets got longer arms. Oh yeah, it's like Astro Ceramus, perhaps. Did I miss something with the daisy chain? What was that? Did I miss something with the daisy chain? Oh, <laughs> I see. And the pet, your pet was the daisy chain? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I see your follow-up fossil question. I'll get that to Adam when he's available. Just a minute. 
Oh, I can I can barely hear you. Oh, I was just saying uh, one of our viewers has a follow-up fossil question, and I'll get that to Adam when he's available. But keep sending questions to the chat. Our next uh, target depth for rock is 2568. So we got some time. Yeah. <laughs> Is it spread out a little more just because we have a deeper depth range or a wider depth range? Yeah, I think what she does is just divide it by six. Okay. Two, five, something. That might, that's probably going to be off our watch. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think that's going to be our watch. ROV pilots, could you take a question? Yep. One sure. of our viewers wants to know, is there any significant input lag when controlling HERC with the controls as the signals are sent through the approximately 3,000 meters of optical optic cables? Um, no, it's, it's practically nothing because the speed of light is so fast. So um, it's whatever it is, it's micro or nanoseconds or something, something something along that those lines um, so we feel very little lag so we it is still it's actually going through 7,000 meters of cable um, regardless of our depth but we've previously only had like about 4,000 or 4,500 meter cable has there been any perceivable distance by doubling that it's well speed lights yeah. What, three times ten to the eighth? Right, so you wouldn't really. Yeah, you wouldn't really feel that. There's no there's no attenuation that you're losing. No, it wouldn't make sense, no. Yeah. There's some lag within our, like, hydraulic functions. So. Why would that be? Um, because they're controlled through um, valves and just the, the response time of some of the, uh, like, the hydraulic fluid to, to move is, is slower than... Uh, just you know the speed of light. Okay. Um, yeah. so. Would that be like when you're using the arm? Uh, yes, the arm is pretty good. Um, but uh, Mongo so maybe. Is yeah, a good example. Ma Mongo might be a better example, which is our um, port side manipulator arm. Um, it's controlled with uh, solenoid yeah. valves. Series of lock valves, yeah. Just yeah, so they're just open or close. So takes a second for those valves to open because it's mechanical uh, movement. That's a great question. No, I think that's, I think it's solid. Yeah, sorry, I have barge in on you guys. Hey, Rennie, can you zoom out on high pack?
Oh my gosh, yeah, we got <laughs> miles to go. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. Roger that. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. Yeah. Good, good uh, forward. <laughs> forward home. <laughs> It's our fearless leader. <laughs> <laughs> Bob wants to know if you got in the pool, Sarah. No, I slept. <laughs> I didn't get in the pool either. Uh, no, I slept also. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Afraid of what's in the water, Bob? But, yeah. <laughs> Jess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I marinated in there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about our tepid pool on the ship. <laughs> yeah, it's a hot tub that we fill with seawater. <laughs> Adam, can you take a follow up fossil question? Sure thing. Okay, so our viewer says, if it's impossible to estimate the age of the fossilized sponges in the whale skull without examining them, what's the minimum age based on them being fossilized in the first place? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I wish I knew the answer to that. The sponges, um, you know, we don't know if they're... I don't know what happens to sponges. They don't seem to be... Uh, they don't seem... People don't seem to be eating them, or animals don't seem to be eating them when they fall down. Um, but the minimum age for those, it really depends on the thickness of the manganese crust. Manganese crust grows at a millimeter per one to two millimeters per million years. So um, if they have significant amount of manganese, they could be pretty old. The surfaces that we're looking at are uh, more than 100 million years old, most likely. The sponge, when we put, were looking at it in the lab, was uh, about a millimeter thickness on one side mm -hmm. and maybe two on the other. Wow. Really? Wow. So does that accretion rate vary with time? I guess we wouldn't really know, but does it vary with time and ocean chemistry? Uh, I assume so. Yeah, I think so. And and as we talked about earlier, it might vary with the microbes that are living on it. Oh. So it's not a, a great clock mm -hmm. necessarily, but one thing that people have done is drilled down through the manganese crust, look at the chemistry kind of layer by layer and be able to match that up with changes in ocean chemistry over mm -hmm. time. I guess you'd have to know that it's still occurring now. The yeah, deposition. We have, I have no yeah. idea of like how you would Well if we look closely rate is constant. I think I saw some accretion. Oh yeah. There it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> well we could Oh well, we we probably have I don't know, you could certainly put out an experiment, right? Like you put out a, a block of ceramic or something and mm -hmm. come back in million five years, years or ten years. <laughs> come back in a million <laughs> years. I heard they are doing experiments like that. They've set different types of rocks and different other materials on the seafloor and are monitoring it. Yeah, I mean, you act, you might not have to wait that long, right? Like, Because you can look with a really high-powered microscope or SEM or right. something to see. Then again, you only get a, a rate per now, yeah. not, not through time. So where does that estimate actually come from then? Uh, well, so for example, from a place like this, you could date the, the rocks. We know the rocks are, uh, or we could use radiometric dating methods like potassium argon to say, all right, these rocks are 100 million years old. And if we look at, you know, 20 of them, they have this thickness of, of uh, manganese on them. So then you're getting as Rennie said, an average rate over time, right? It may very well be that under different conditions it's growing faster or slower. Can we get a zoom on the possible 
Barnacles. Barnacle Highway. Yeah, well, it's sure a, thing. That's what a, did we decide the name was going to be? It's a drip of barnacles. Drip, <laughs> <laughs> oh, drip of barnacles. Constellation was the one I liked. Be. Mm. We're looking for those stoloniferous corals that um, sometimes resemble barnacles. Yeah, I don't see any of the uh, connective tissue. These barnacles are much bigger than the ones we saw. All right, Dave, go ahead and push on in there, please. They're certainly barnacles. Yeah, you're right. They're much bigger. Little teeny ones before. Yeah. Definitely live. Oh, there's one coming out. Yeah. Cute. It's little eyelashes. Yeah. yeah. Something weird. In they seem to have, like, cam. do you see that? Dash cam. What is that? Oh, yeah. It looks like a brittle star or something. It's so weird. It's like a good uh, thing we've got it on 1980s closed caption. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, a, a Dumbo. it's a Dumbo. It's a Dumbo. It's a Dumbo. Yeah. Oh, octopus. really? Oh, yeah. very cool. All yeah. right, full wide there, please, Dave. Yeah, you can see it in down cam. Oh, yeah, you can see it in down cam. Dumbo octopus. I want to see him on hurt cam. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. There he is. I still want to know why the barnacles are where they are in these like stripes. They always seem to be on the edge of a ridge. Yeah, it does seem know. to be aspect related. Like yeah. there's, there's sections where we don't see any, but they're all facing in one direction. And, well, yeah, it could be once it establishes, they just propagate from there. I talked to Steve about that. Yeah, what did he say? He was not buying it. Huh. Well, what does he know? Um, yeah. <laughs> Not as much as Rennie. <laughs> what does he know besides everything? Uh, everything that seat, we know plus seat. a thousand plus more. more. Plus one PhD wow. more. <laughs> I think if we look at that sediment, we would find barnacle shells. Gonna do a dominating. Zoom in here, there, Dave. Barnacles um, have a like a super high shell to body ratio. Hmm. They're really well protected. Yeah, there's a lot of it. Then, if you want, you wanted us to look a little down. You said. Yeah, yeah. you're right. That does look. That does look like barnacle shell. Yep. Shell hash for sure. Yeah. Wonder if that's the that black shell hash that we were seeing. I think it is. Um, is it? Oh yeah. I'd have Manganese to like crusted barnacle. I'd have Ooh. to get a, like some of these and look at them to see if they compare. But. Oh, you want to get a little? Oh, uh, let's see. I we don't really have a spot to put that. I know. Slurp. Oh, you could slurp. Slurp, yeah. Slurp it, yeah. Do we want to use the slurp jar for that? Oh, we're a little behind right now. Yeah. Oh, oh my please. God. You're always saying that. <laughs> oh, we just we <laughs> take so long to decide what we want to do. Look, there's a whole river there's of it. There's a whole lot of it over here. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's a lot. Wow. It's a what barnacle grape. Wow. Coral. What do we got here? Got a bamboo. Bamboo big coral, one. big guy. That's the first. Wow. First big. For, oh, for nice. a, oh, look, there's a crinoid. For this Beautiful. first one that we're seeing at this that's, depth, that's it's deep. pretty large. It's quite large. Yeah, it's yeah. huge. It's not like, oh, this little tiny one. I think that's a, a new record. Magic. I oh, don't so actually gonna know come that. Up a little on the and what, what are these uh, stars doing here? They're just having fun with their neighbors, you know. Well, I haven't seen them <laughs> scratching on their backs the on the barnacles. <laughs> that, that one's going like, Wee! that one's doing gymnastics. Oh. If, if you want a, a slurp, we can try to get in a position. I ahead. definitely want. Uh, hey, can you look at the Thurber cam and see what what it's seeing? That'd be yeah. awesome to have a cool picture of this. Sure. There you the go. Thurber cam. You want me to drop down a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Zoom yeah. out ahead after that. Like about back off a little, yeah. Oh, we got that dark spot in there. Yeah. Solar eclipse. Something like taking one there. There's so it just took one. That is wild. Seems like a current is here too. Can, Can you tell if there is one, Jess? Uh, it's not that bad. Okay. Yeah, not too crazy. My right, last picture, and then we're gonna go. Sorry, I can't see the timer from here. Oh, Ooh, I guess I could take control of it. Sweet. 30 seconds, right? Get it is, that. but I don't know. 30 seconds. There it is. Ah, uh, right. love it. 
All right, see you later, Rock. Looks like there's totally particles gonna, on the bamboo, too. It's only going to insta that. They're working. <laughs> I wonder if Andrew knows it. We just call it the Thurber Cam. He's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. It has a name. <laughs> has a name. All right, play some catch up here. Did you guys? Uh, was it verified that we want to slurp? Yeah, I'd like to slurp th that uh, shell hash. All right, All right, let's see if we can get ahead and find. Oh, some. what do we got out there? Well, we can keep looking at stuff oh. if we oh, want to. Well, get you know what? Or. It's really interesting. <laughs> It's a gorgeous. It does look like a. Yeah. It's very interesting. Like you're getting good, Anna. I know, and this is deeper than we usually see those. I think. Oh. I think you might be right. Two eight, maybe. Two eight two. All right. Well, two, eight, do you want to stop the ship then, and then we'll see if we can settle out okay. among some barnacles there? Yeah. yeah that'd can be we great. go upslope? Yeah. Osco said. Bridge now. They're brittle stars, not sea stars. So same purpose as barnacles. Uh, whole position. Meaning that they're filter feeders? Right. They're right. not predating on anything. Drop a quick one there. So I've stopped the ship. If we get ahead and we see some, we can vacuum. Well, that was probably all we're, we're going to see. I, you think, know? We can, I mm -hmm. think we got to maybe. Can we pan left? See if they're still up there? Pan. Sure. Oh, you mean the particles? Yeah. Well, I dropped a thing. We'll, we'll see more of them. I, I don't have any doubt about that. Wow, we, that changed quick. We can <laughs> try to get. We can try to be riding uh, towards the front of our screen. That way, we're we have some time to react. There might be some more there. Yeah. Or that's sediment, probably. Sediment. Well, nodules. Yeah. Nodules. Randy, I lost the thread on what the ship's doing. Does it stop its move? I just paused in case we were okay. seeing more and could catch up. Um, if you really want the stuff back there, we can back up. Oh, no, no, no. Let's not backtrack because <laughs> we've got a long way to go. Yeah, so we're paused, and then maybe as we swing here, if we see those again, we'll just take that moment to, to slurp. But if not, then we'll keep moving. Awesome. Sarah, how were the samples you uh, recovered from Hercules today? Was that today? <laughs> Goodness. Oh, <laughs> uh, good. Yeah, they were really interesting. They all survived the ride. Nope, that's a lie. One did not. <laughs> we got a bonus sample, too. Came up on the um, porch of Hercules. <laughs> what was it part of that bamboo skeleton? Metallogorgia. Yeah. Paragorgia? Metallogorgia. Metallogorgia? Yeah. yeah. Did they see it towards the end of the dive, I guess? No, we saw oh, it when just... we pulled up Herc on deck. On wow. the porch. Huh. I haven't seen a Metallogorgia. I've been waiting for the, the moment. It's a pretty cool skeleton color. Mm. All right, that's about the catch up range there. Uh, okay, there's a few. There's some. Maybe there's some hash at the bottom of that. Oh. Huh. Looks like sediment. Looks like sediment, yeah. You want to push on in there, please, Dave? 
I'm thinking sediment yeah. for sure. But maybe where there's one, there's more. Yeah. Those are dead. <laughs> oh, I think. Oh, I think. Well, yeah, we'll look around. Not really seeing anything. Yeah. Should I call, continue the move? Yeah, let's keep the move going. And we might have enough pause if we see something, but we could also just try to stay ahead of everything, like towards the top of the frame. You know, probably the next time we see those barnacles, we'll just try and get out ahead then. Seems like they at least go on for, you know, yeah. 20 meters or so. Yeah. I wonder if I were to lateral to this side, it seems like they were on that cliff face, right? Mm. Maybe yeah, they were on. It might just need that steep, yeah, like the relief of those big boulders. Yep. Yeah. They also shot, showed up as soon as the sediment disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. You guys ever seen those stalked barnacles? Oh yeah, gooseneck barnacles. Yeah, they're oh, cool. Yeah. Those are very cool. I saw some that were like the early colonizers of a hydrothermal vent, and so it was just a blanket of stalked barnacles. Very cool. I think they're. Aren't they supposed to be? Um, Relatively ancient is not the right word, but well-conserved well, genetic material. Ancient works for me. <laughs> ancient yeah. it is. I don't know. I think so. Could be. I mean, not as old as, like, uh, rocket-bearing dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> rocket-bearing, nice. You know, they, dinosaurs with the rockets attached to their... A robot rocket-bearing right. dinosaurs. <laughs> Rennie, weren't you still uh, doing your Christmas shopping? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I really wanted when I was a kid? The game Mousetrap. Mousetrap? I uh, wanted that too, really bad. I wanted I like a Rube I, Goldberg situation. I'm <laughs> sure that it did not live up to the hype. I had one. It was so cool. You guys missed out. Oh, oh God. God. You're killing me. Hey. I had Mousetrap, but I wanted Operation. Oh, I had Operation. Oh. Yeah. That that usually lives until, like, the first <laughs> round of batteries dies. And <laughs> had them both. 
Oh. Last trap was cool because you'd play the game the first time, and then after that, you would just build it. Yeah. yeah. And, and <laughs> Rube Goldberg it, and then start adding things to it. I had a lot of erector sets. Mm -hmm. I wasn't allowed toys. <laughs> <laughs> erector sets aren't toys, they're just, just like... Just rock tumblers. I had to work build. on my, yeah, my geology <laughs> studies. Some tools, good. <laughs> Where you lived on the island of misfit toys. <laughs> <laughs> a viewer asked if you were actually given the the chance to participate in a a dive, a person dive going down. Where would you want to go? Ooh, interesting. Like scuba or in a submarine? Uh, let's go submarine. I would like to go. Or a bathyscaphe. Bath yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to go to the petite spots uh, off of uh, Japan, down at 6,000 meters. Young volcanoes on very old oceanic crust. Mm. I would go to a hydrothermal vent field. For sure. Preferably one that I haven't been to yet. Yeah. I'd go to a really tectonically active spot. I'd also go to a hydro uh, event field as well for me. What do you but want? Like a uh, black smoker, white smoker? Give me but anything, yeah. <laughs> really want to see some gigantic two worms just got a wall area down there. Okay, so that means you got to be in the Pacific, right? You can't go to the Atlantic. There's no two worms in the Atlantic. There's no two worms in the Atlantic? Sounds like a discovery that needs to be made. <laughs> Sounds like it. The so in the Pacific the vents are dominated by two worms. Mm -hmm. And in Atlantic dominated by shrimp. Oh, and then in the less far cool. west Pacific I think it's like snails are dominant. Is like, that a coral running? I can't tell from here. Can't tell yet. Yeah, a little closer. Looks like a coral. Yeah. It's got a um looks like a brittle star associate. But I really can't see from here yet. Alright, Dave, go ahead and push on in there, please. Z pen? Yeah, I'm thinking Z pen. I agree yeah. with you, Jake. Uh, okay. I would love Talk if to coral, Z pen, brittle star. I'd love uh. if they introduced each other, like, have you met my associate? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. I like that. I don't know that we know that they speak English, Adam. <laughs> uh, we'll never know because sound does not travel through ROVs. That's right. We need hydrophone. <laughs> uh, manipulate our arm, bring a microphone up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? Find your associates. <laughs> oh, are they please save? So, do the Pacific hydrothermal vents have both the worms and shrimp, or just the sh just the worms? They let's see. I'm trying to think. Uh, they may have shrimp as well, but nothing like the amount of shrimp that you see in the Atlantic vents. Do, they, do both have kind of the similar proportion of uh, polychaetes and scale worms and stuff? Oh, boy. Uh, I know that they're surrounded by rocks that I'm interested in, <laughs> but <laughs> we've gone beyond yeah. my uh, <laughs> knowledge of vent ecology. So when you say not dominant, I'm just going to keep pushing. Even yeah, though okay. You're clearly <laughs> backing away from right. it. Further and further. Uh, are there still... Two worms like alvanellids, but maybe not the the riftias, the big ones in the Atlantic. Uh yeah, you, you might be going beyond. I I believe there are not two worms. I'm certain there's not riftia and giant two worms, mm. but uh, I think it's correct that I could look this up. Hold on, <laughs> hey Siri. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Adam has been in submersibles. 
So it was a theoretical place of where he would, where else he would like to go. How long did you stay down? Um, typically, it's like nine hours. How many di how many dives have you been on? Uh, probably like thirty or so. Yeah. Um, was the deepest? Deepest was uh, four thousand meters, maybe a little bit over really? four thousand. I feel like I'd panic. I get claustrophobic. I don't think so. Like, I can totally stand up and stretch out. Really? Uh, that's not true at all. That's in Alvin. It's the other ones. It <laughs> the ones with the full, you know, polycarbonate like bubble. The yeah. bubble ones. Those. You also don't feel claustrophobic because you can kind of see it. Yeah, being able to see out like that would be really helpful. But how long? How long did it take you to get to the bottom? Uh, for at four thousand meters, it takes like I think we we kind of loaded it up with uh, weight. So going down was pretty fast. It was probably like an hour and forty five minutes, and coming up um, is a bit slower. Like you know, a little over two hours, two and a quarter hours, or something. For four thousand meters. Yeah. Wow. Did you take snacks? Um, I, they actually provide food. Whoa. Yeah. Like on an airplane? Yes. That's <laughs> old. You get, uh, there's a thermos of coffee, a thermos of water. There's, uh, sam two sandwiches. Whoa. Um, usually an apple and, like, a full-size candy bar. Like, you, like, just went to the best <laughs> trick-or-treating house in the neighborhood, you know? And oh, man. I'm imagining the Alvin pilots that I know turning around <laughs> and, and acting like flight attendants. <laughs> and it doesn't really drive. What would you like to do, sir? Do you have any trash? One of the pilots, so like t one sandwich is like like a normal like lunch meat sandwich and one is peanut butter and jelly, but one of the pilots cannot stand the smell of peanut butter. So oh, like, no. Please don't eat that. Uh. So you just don't eat? <laughs> But the I've I had some dives in Nautil, which is the French mm. sub, and they like full on stop for lunch. They're like food is super important to like us. Like quiche. No, I mean wine it, and cheeses. I can't oh actually even <laughs> remember what the food was, but I know that we definitely stopped. And the fact that there was a lot of pointing because I did not speak French <laughs> and they did not speak English. <laughs> All right, pilots, we'll up here. What? How do you? Uh, so you've been in the like the little bubble ones, like the little confined things too. Yeah, I mean they're you can like sit sit in a seat. It's yeah. not like you're like scrunched in. Right. Okay. Do you prefer the sp polycarbonate spheres to Alvin? Obviously, it's a different viewing experience but you can go it's a lot also deeper like, in alvin yeah and a super different sampling experience huh. alvin's got you know much better manipulators and a lot more payload so mm. for for the science that i do picking up rocks uh you know alvin is a, a better tool than those smaller ones is alvin still being used alvin is still being used just underwent a big uh upgrade and overhaul in order to be able to dive to 6,500 meters. Oh. Did you have any anxiety? Yes. I Can felt like everyone else funnel? was smarter than me. <laughs> and that I wasn't pretty enough. You were only the director of the deep submerged lab. <laughs> <laughs> like in uh, charge of it. <laughs> uh, I My first dive, I thought that... so. You, you're in this closed sphere, right? So you breathe out and there's con there's water in your breath and it condenses on the side and it the water was like collecting around the little viewport and I was like, uh guys, I think we have a leak here <laughs> and uh but it was then they're like, No, stop it. <laughs> That'd be and a good then, trick to bring a water gun down there and just <laughs> spray, spray the back oh. of the pilots. 